right, tubers. Let's. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna finish tightening up my uh, engine carrier here. There we go. And we're gonna put our uh, heat exchangers on. Make sure these are getting tight. Okay. Yeah, uh, we gotta put our heat exchangers on. I've got my studs cleaned up here. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Some of them came out, which is you know pretty typical. They came out of the head. What I'm gonna do on the on the end that goes up in the head, I'm gonna put a little Loctite on there. On this end, I'm gonna use anises so that they don't come out. Uh, it's very normal for that to happen around the heat, around the exhaust and water splashing up under here they rust like crazy this one's a bit damaged but salvageable so i'm going to go ahead and uh we'll get these studs put in here and we'll bolt the heat exchanger on all right tubers we're ready to put this uh heat exchanger on here you can see i've got the gasket up in place just put a little stick them on the back of it use some aviation stuck my copper gasket up in there i've got my anises on the threads uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab that heat exchanger and we're going to stick it on here. Alright guys, here's our uh, heat exchanger that we worked on. Got it all patched up, welded, and ready to go. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on and uh, catch you guys after that job's complete. Alright tubers, we got heat exchangers on this bad boy. Got our uh, uh, engine carrier as well in the rear there. So. Just a little bit of uh, tin work left to do, and <laughs> let me uh, let me just uh, show you the header we're going to put on this. Okay, here's our header, guys. This is what we're going to put on here. I bought this uh, about seven years ago, and I ran it on an engine for just a few minutes, and kind of changed direction with my project. So uh, it's just sit around. I need to get it all cleaned up, and we're gonna. We're going to sock it on this motor. Uh, it's uh, from what I remember, it sounded really, really good. It had a really, really uh, kind of a deep, throaty sound, but not really loud. You can see it's got the uh, it's got the dual pack, so that's going to be cool. We got to get it all cleaned up. I'm going to see if I can salvage the chrome tips uh, right here. They they got a little bit rusted. I don't know if this will if I can clean them up or not, but I'm going to try to. We'll clean this guy up and see what we can. See what we can make out of it. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. I just want to show you the header we're gonna put on here, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a, another video. Thanks for tuning in.